Good afternoon. Today we're going to try to cover uh, differences between solders. The most common solder you're used to is this one here, which is our tin lead solder. It um, is the most commonly used solder, very easy to solder with. These ha uh, this has uh, the rosin built in. The other type is a silver bearing solder, which we also carry. You can tell just by looking at them, there's no way to tell the difference between them, so keep, you know, keep them uh, apart. This one has tin and lead, but it also has about 2% silver. The silver does three things. It makes the joint a little bit harder, it makes the joint a little bit higher temperature, and it uh, does not have the plastic stage that the tin lead has. When the tin lead melts, it becomes liquid. When it becomes solid, it goes through a plastic stage. If you bump your work while the solder is in its plastic stage, you'll get a bad solder joint. The tin lead does not have that plastic stage. This is why I usually recommend this, the tin lead, for beginners, even though it is more expensive. A third solder we'll just briefly uh, mention is what is called um, unleaded solder or it's called lead-free, or they may actually call it ROS, R-O-H-S, solder. This is from European dictates. It doesn't have lead, and the idea is that you don't put lead into the landfill and things like that, but it has other things in it that are just as bad, and it makes it much harder to make a joint, and it will ruin your tips very, very quickly. So that's basically the solders. This is the tin lead, is general purpose solder. Silver, if you need the little stronger joint, or if um, you're a beginner, and I don't recommend the unleaded. Thank you very much.